Okay, hello everyone. Um, hi Totus, if you're watching it. Um, today I wanted to talk about the update of the, the knife that I've been using for uh, two, maybe three months now. And the polycarbonate sheath uh, that I've been testing uh, with different kind of impacts. So... Uh, the first thing is a little update on the handle. I decided to, after uh, scales uh, came off, uh, came loose and came off, uh, the poly polycarbonate scales, uh, I decided to replace it with uh, an in interesting material. It is uh, uh, natural uh, animal leather uh, that has been... Uh, glued together from like two pieces uh, glued with a uh, epoxy resin uh, and then uh, compressed uh, with uh, um, compressed between like two uh, straight uh, like plates of steel so it is uh, you know like straightened and it came out really nice. I like it how it is like really leathery to the touch, and uh, it is also like uh, really abrasive, uh, uh, durable, and uh, it is. It feels like it is really just a um, a tougher, tougher leather not just like a plastic so it's uh i think it's a st stabilized uh, leather now but um uh, i think it came out all right i decided to not do the lanyard hole uh in the back of the handle just because i don't like the lanyards and all that kind of stuff and so onto the onto the uh, polycarbonate uh, scales uh, on the uh, like this uh, combination of the compactness and uh, durability sheath that I've made uh, so I tried a few like durability tests on it uh, uh, I placed it on between like two bricks and uh, stand on it it would just uh, you know like bend slightly but not break uh, I think any of the other different kind of kinds of uh, plastic uh, sheaths would not withstand that kind of impact uh, because you know like I weigh like a hundred and ten kilos it's I believe it's uh, like a almost like 300 pounds so I weigh a lot uh the second thing that i tried to it is i placed it on the uh, on the up uplifted surface like like that and tried to whack it uh, with a hammer and this is what happened uh it just it just bro uh, broke uh you know it just you have the cracks all over the place and you know it's now like stitched with uh, uh, preheated uh, copper wire, uh, but nevertheless, it, it which is so strange about it, it breaks on the impact like like a glass. You know, it if it wouldn't be uh, if if it would not be glued together to the. Um, leather core into the other side I think it would just fly off in different directions and what is so weird about it is that if you place uh, it evenly on like a flat surface and then whack on it uh, with a hammer even as, as hard as you can it would not break like I swear it would not break uh, but if you uplifted it a little it would just 
it would just snap uh, snap like like a glass this is so weird I cannot even I cannot even uh, come up with uh, an explanation for that but it seems so that the polycarbonate is so strong uh, when it's up against something or if you try to bend it but it's but when it's uh, uplifted and you try to hit uh, you know like in the middle of it it just breaks so maybe polycarbonate is not as as hard as i thought it would be uh still it's still really tough but that's something just to so out of this world i i, I cannot explain what it, why it happens because uh, if you know you try to uh, strike as hard as I uh, stroke the polycarbonate with a hammer uh, when it's on the surface if you try to strike kydex sheath or ABS uh, plastic sheath or Zytel sheath or, sheath or uh, maybe it would not break but it would certainly have like a bend or a crack or that kind of stuff because you know i stroke that thing hard so i did i, did, I don't really know what happened or maybe if you have some explanations for that uh, or you know like questions or suggestions let me know in the comments but that's it for today thank you guys for watching have a good day. Bye.